first I want to shout out a huge thank you to all of my 100 subscribers. Before we jump in, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video if you have not done so yet. Okay, here we go. Ever wondered why Democrats seem to be doing the jitterbug lately? Hint, it's not because they've suddenly developed a love for swing dancing. No, this dance is more of a nervous two-step, a precarious shuffle between the devil they know and the devil they don't. You see, the Democrats are in quite a pickle. While they shudder at the thought of a Trump renomination, there's a nagging fear that other Republican contenders might actually pose a bigger threat to Biden's re-election bid. Take Nikki Haley, for instance. A CBS News survey suggested she could have an eight-point advantage over Biden, compared to Trump's mere two-point edge. That's quite a lead, and it's enough to give any Democrat a case of the jitterbugs. Outwardly, of course, the Democrats maintain that they can beat any Republican candidate. But behind closed doors, the fear of a Trump victory seems to be the monster lurking under the bed. It's a delicate dance indeed, this game of political strategy. So it appears that the Democrats are caught in a rather awkward dance, unsure whether to step left, right, or just keep shuffling in place. Speaking of rematches, how many of you are excited about a possible Biden-Trump showdown? No one? Well that's interesting because neither are most Americans apparently. A recent CNN poll revealed that a majority of both Republican and Democratic voters would rather see brand new faces for the 2024 presidential election. Now isn't that something? It seems our country is saying, been there, done that, got the t-shirt and didn't really like it. And the plot thickens as the support for a Trump bid is on a decline among Republican-aligned voters. But fear not, the Republicans have a new poster boy, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is gaining popularity as a potential alternative. On the other side of the aisle, despite the clamor for fresh faces, Biden still manages to maintain a higher favorability among Democrats compared to other potential contenders. But the underlying sentiment seems to be, we like you Joe, but maybe it's time for some new energy. So it looks like if this rematch does happen, it'll be like watching a boxing match where both fighters are reluctantly dragged into the ring. Now, onto the verbal volleys being thrown around. Who needs reality TV when you've got a political drama unfolding right before your eyes? The recent exchange between Biden and Trump was nothing short of a Shakespearean play, with each actor delivering their lines with gusto. Biden, playing the role of the concerned citizen, accused Trump of being a threat to democracy. A grave accusation indeed. Trump, on the other hand, decided to go for a low blow, mocking Biden's stutter. A move as mature as a schoolyard taunt, don't you think? Biden's campaign didn't miss a beat though, they called Trump confused. Now whether they were referring to his political strategies, his understanding of democracy, or his inability to come up with a more sophisticated insult, we can only guess. Well folks, the stage is set, the players are in place and the drama is unfolding. Whether we're in for a nail-biting thriller or a tragic comedy, only time will tell. Until then keep your popcorn ready.